In this video, we are going to learn how to design PID controllers for power converters such as boost and buck converters. To design a control system for a plant with linear control techniques, we need to linearize the model at its operating conditions. However, power electronic systems are hard to linearize due to presence of non-linear devices and PWM switching. For such systems, Simulink offers alternate methods to perform controller tuning using model-based methods or in real-time. For model-based methods, the linear model of the plant can be estimated using either input-output data or plant frequency response data. This data can be collected either by simulation or experiments with hardware. For the real-time method, a closed-loop PID auto-tuner block can be used. Let's start our discussion by designing a PID controller for a boost converter using the input-output data. For the current model, the output voltage should be regulated to the reference value of 18 volt. A PID controller adjusts the PWM duty cycle based on the voltage error signal. Let's initialize the controller with the default gains. For the step response, it results in a large overshoot and a slow settling time. You can tune this controller using PID to now. PID tuner indicates that the model cannot be linearized and returns a zero system. In such cases, you can identify the plant model using input-output data. The input-output data can be obtained by simulating the simulink model or by experimentation with the hardware. Here we will use simulated data. For this purpose, we need to excite the system with the input signal and measure the output signal. Here we will provide a step signal as an input. The signal characteristics can be mentioned here. On running the simulation, PID tuner injects the specified input signal at the input of the controller and measures the plant output response. In the plant identification figure, the input plot shows the specified input signal and output plot shows the corresponding output response. This input-output data is used for the plant identification. As the linear plant is identified with this data and response shows it's a second order system. We can switch between different plant structure to better fit with the data. This makes sure that identified plant response matches the identified data. You can use auto estimate option to fit the data to identify plant accurately. This plant can now be used for tuning the PID controller gains. You can observe the identified plant here. Once the controller is tuned, PID gains can be exported to the model by updating the block. Let's run the model to confirm the controller response. To examine the controller line disturbance and load disturbances were introduced. We can see the controller exhibits stable response with faster rise, shorter settling time and no overshoot. It also takes care of both disturbances effectively. Similar to input output time response data, we can also use frequency response data to identify the plant model. You can perform this by running frequency response estimation experiments with the model linearizer app. To estimate the plant frequency response, we need to determine the steady state operating point. From simulation, the plant is in steady state at 45 milliseconds, so we will use simulation snapshot at 45 milliseconds to get the operating point. Frequency response is estimated by exciting the model with input signal of varying frequency profiles and recording the plant output. From this output, you can glean the magnitude and phase information at different frequency points, which can be used to construct the frequency response model. To run experiments, we need to mark the signals in the model where the input signal would be injected to excite the system and output response would be measured. Here. We will be exciting the system with fixed sample time science stream signal and set up the other experimentation settings such as characteristics of the injected signal. Now we can estimate the plant and plot a border plot. This creates an estimated plant system object which can be exported to the PID tuner. For this purpose, first we need to move estimated system object from linear analysis workspace to MATLAB workspace followed by importing it into PID tuner. Similar to our discussion in the input output data method, this estimated plant model can be further used for the tuning. These were two model based tuning methods that you can use to tune PID controllers. 
Let's move over to real time tuning method with the closed loop PID auto tuner block. To set up the model for the closed loop auto tuning, we need to place a closed loop auto tuner block between the PID tuner and the plant. We have set up the complete model to automate the tuning process. You can set up the experimentation settings in the closed loop PID auto tuner block. To perform the tuning process, we can trigger the tuning process by using a start stop signal when the plant is operating at the steady state. Now we are good to go with the setup. Default gains of the controller are zero. Let's run the simulation and evaluate the performance. Closed loop PID auto tuner block works similar to the second method discussed. Here it does the frequency response estimation experiments of the system around the set controller bandwidth and uses the frequency response model to tune the gains. In this demo, we see it takes the PID controller about 0.04 seconds to bring the boost converter to the nominal operating point of 18 volts. The initial transients contains a strong oscillation which we would to improve. At the end of experiment, closed loop PID auto tuner block updates the final gains resulting in a stable response. These gains are received by experimentation on the model, which are little different from the hardware. With these initial gains, using PID auto tuner block, you can generate the code and deploy it on the hardware. These initial gains can be further fine tuned on the hardware in real time. We have discussed about various model based and real time tuning methods for non linearizable power electronic systems. Let's move to key takeaways of our video. In this video, we learned that power electronic systems are hard to linearize and Simulink offers multiple methods to tune the controller. You can do model-based tuning by estimating the plant model through input-output data or plant frequency response data and tune using PID tuner. If you have access to the physical plant, you can generate code from the closed-loop PID auto-tuner block to tune your PID gains in real time. Thank you.